Hello and welcome to this video lead tutorial. In this video lead tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the typewriter effect text come onto the screen. So I've just got a stock bit of footage here on the timeline and I'm just going to add, um, firstly, I'm going to add my text to it. So let's just make it all capitals and write golf swing. Um, shall we change color? Yeah, probably best. Um, we'll make it um, we'll make it black and then I'm going to change the font and I want to... Um, a thicker font to be honest yeah so let's have this font and the only reason i want that thicker font is purely just so you can see it on the screen a little bit easier and i'm going to center this in the middle of the screen so if you if you want to quickly center text by the way you just look at the arrows on the left and the right hand side so that's centered to the um vertical and horizontal and then from left to right center the arrows will come on the top as well. So a bit like a crosshair on the outside of the screen. Um, so now what I want to do, I want to add a mask to this text because I want to make it, um, it's going to be a linear mask. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate that mask to the left. Remember, because you want the text to come onto the screen, put it into the center. If I move these, um, it just feathers the mask, and that's not really what I want to do. Um, I want it to be quite instant. So then I'm going to move this over to the left-hand side, so the golf or the G is completely covered up. And then I'm going to add keyframe to that by clicking the little diamond button in the right-hand side. And you'll see on my timeline I have a, um, a pink diamond appear on the timeline as well on the text. So when my mask selected, all I'm going to do is I'm going to move up the timeline to sort of below two seconds, move the mask line up beyond the final G. Um, it will automatically keyframe for me. Deselect that. And now that golf swing will appear like so. So now what I want to do, I want to put a cursor in front of that golf swing. So I'm going to go back to my text. I'm going to make sure that we our font is again the same thick font and it is already selected and all I'm going to do is double tap and add a capital I to give it the cursor effect and um, click OK change the color to black and now what I want to do I want to look at where just position this this cursor just where the golf is select the keyframe Again, we can see the keyframe by the little the little diamond. Move the timeline till we get to the end of the golf swing. And once we see that G appear, so it has to be immediate. As soon as we see that G appear, I'm going to move my cursor to the just over the end of it, like so. It will already keyframe for me. So deselect that and let's have a look. Okay, so our cursor moves along. So now what we're going to do is select our cursor again. We're going to go to animation, select overall and select blink and then drag this duration of the blink down. So now my, so now when I play through at the end of our text, we've got a blinking cursor. So now all I want to do is I want to go to audio. So now all I want to do is I want to go to audio, sound effects, search for type. And then we've got this keyboard fast typing or the computer keyboard type sequence doesn't really matter choose that for that one download that so that drops into our timeline just move the timeline along as soon as our cursor starts blinking or sorry we've stopped typing on the G just drag that sound effect down so there you go real simple tutorial of a type effect um, thanks a lot for your time and I'll um, I'll catch you all soon bye